Hello everyone, this is Achinta Mehdi. So this is the sixth video about chemical kinetic chapter. So in this video, I will discuss about lots of problem and their solution. And if you have not watched the previous videos, then links are given in the description below. Let's start this video. Let's discuss about role of catalyst in a reaction. So as we know that when we add catalyst in a reaction, the catalyst enhance the rate of the reaction but there is no change in composition of the catalyst okay so activation energy in presence of catalyst so a catalyst neither change the position of energies of reactants and products nor it changes the position of equilibrium it only alter the value of energy of activation which is lower than uncatalyzed reaction that means the required energy to cross the energy barrier for a reactant to give a product okay the catalyst only decreases the position of activation energy it just lowers the activation energy okay that's why as you add catalyst reaction proceed faster than uncatalyzed reaction let's discuss this concept uh, through a graph okay so if we plot a graph here it is energy here it is reaction coordinate okay so if there is the energy of reactant is this much this is the energy of the reactant and if the product is here energy of the product is this much okay and the reaction and activation energy is this much this is the activation energy okay for a uncatalyzed reaction this is a uncatalyzed reaction okay there is no catalyst in this reaction okay now if we put catalyst catalyst in the reaction then it lowers the activation energy that means this energy will be lowered okay so it will be like this okay this is now this this part will follow the catalyzed reaction that means this is catalyzed reaction in this reaction we add the catalyst after adding the catalyst the activation energy lowers okay this is the activation energy for the catalyzed reaction okay now we will find out a equation which correlate to uh, a catalyzed reaction and a uncatalyzed reaction so first of all we will consider one catalyzed reaction in which uh, the arrhenius equation for the catalyzed reaction the arrhenius equation is this one kc that means catalyzed reaction kc that constant is equal to a e to the r minus e c by r t e c is the activation energy for catalyzed reaction this is uncatalyzed reaction this is for uncatalyzed reaction k u is equal to a e to the r e to the r minus e u by r t so when we will take log of this equation and of this equation we will find out this one ln k d k c so ln kc here it will be is equal to ln a minus and this e will be removed minus ec by rt same case in this case also ln ku is equal to ln a minus eu by rt so these are two reaction one and two so we will minus equation two from one 
ओके सो के एल एन के सी माइनस एल एन के यू ओके इज इक्वल टू दिस एल एन ए एल एन ए विल बी कैंसिल आउट एंड ओनली दिस पार्ट विल रिमेन ओके सो हेयर इट इज माइनस ई सी बाय आर टी माइनस माइनस ई यू बाय आर टी सो इट यू विल गेट दिस नेक्स्ट दिस वन एज दिस इज एल एन सो वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस ओके के सी बाय के यू इज इक्वल टू दिस वन आर टी आर टी इज कम कॉमन हेयर ओके एंड ई ई यू माइनस ई सी डेल ई डेल ई मीन्स ई यू माइनस ई सी सो वी राइट डेल ई ए ओके नेक्स्ट वी राइट लॉग इंस्टिट ऑफ एल एन सो डेर इज टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री हेयर ओके एंड हेयर इट इज डेल ई ए एंड आर टी रिमेनिंग पार्ट इज सेम जस्ट एज यू राइट लॉग हेयर सो यू हैव टू राइट हेयर टू पॉइंट थ्री जीरो थ्री सो दिस इज ए इक्वेशन फॉर को रिलेशन बिटवीन ए कैटालाइज एंड एंड अनकेटालाइज रिएक्शन ओके लेट्स डिस्कस ए प्रॉब्लम सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी दैट द कैलकुलेट कैलकुलेट द एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी ऑफ ए रिएक्शन हुज रेट कॉन्स्टेंट इज ट्रिपल्ड बाई ए टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस रेज इन टेम्परेचर इन द फिसिनिटी ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवेन डिग्री सेल्सियस फिसिनिटी मीन्स ए प्लेस नियर ए नियर और सराउंडिंग ए स्पेसिफिक प्लेस दैट मीन्स टेन डिग्री रेज एंड फिसिनिटी ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवेन दैट मीन्स इफ टेम्परेचर इज ट्वेंटी सेवेन डिग्री सेल्सियस सो लेसर देन ट्वेंटी सेवेन डिग्री सेल्सियस लेट्स इट इज फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड ग्रेटर फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस फ्रॉम फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस देन ट्वेंटी सेवेन डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस एरिया टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस एरिया दे आर सेंग दैट टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस रेज इन टेम्परेचर इन द फिसिनिटी ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवेन डिग्री सेल्सियस दैट मीन्स दिस इज द एरिया नियर ट्वेंटी सेवेन डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस एरिया ओके सो वेन वी विल रेज टेम्परेचर टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस द रेट कॉन्स्टेंट इज ट्रिपल्ड सो द गिवेन टेम्परेचर गिवेन टेम्परेचर इज ट्वेंटी सेवेन डिग्री सेल्सियस दैट मीन्स इन केलविन इट इज थ्री हंड्रेड केलविन ओके सो इन द फिसिनिटी इन द फिसिनिटी ऑफ दिस टेम्परेचर द टू टेम्परेचर आर टू नाइंटी फाइव केलविन एंड थ्री जीरो फाइव केलविन ओके सपोज द रेड कॉन्स्टेंट्स आर के वन एंड के टू ओके सो एज इट इज ट्रिपल दैट मीन्स वी कैन से दैट एज द इक्वेशन इज एल एन के टू बाई के वन इज इक्वल टू ई ए बाई आर वन बाई टी वन माइनस वन बाई टी टू ओके सो हेयर एज इट इज ट्रिपल दैट मीन्स दैट मीन्स के टू इज इक्वल टू थ्राइस के वन ओके सो वी कैन राइट एल एन थ्री के वन डिवाइड बाई के वन इज इक्वल टू ई हेयर 
E A by R means uh, 8.314 Joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse and here it is T1 is T1 is this one 295 minus 305 okay next we can write ln 3 is equal to ea by 8.314295 into 305 and it will be 305 minus 295 and it will be 10 okay next we need e activation energy e will be equal to ln 3 8.314 joule kelvin inverse mole inverse okay and here it will be 305 into 295 and here 10 k okay and it will give you 82.118 kilo joule mole inverse okay in this question which reaction will have the greater temperature dependence for the red constant one with a smaller value of e or one with larger value of e okay so as we know that the arrhenius equation k is equal to a e to the power minus e a by r t okay so the temperature temperature dependence of k can be found by taking the derivative taking the derivative of the of this equation Arrhenius equation above equation with respect to T T means temperature we will take derivative of K K with respect to T so what we will found DK dt is equal to a e to the power minus e a by rt into e by rt square okay so when we derive derive take derivative of this part that means uh, d dt of minus e a by rt so we will find out here it will be minus already here it is minus here so as you derive take derivative of 1 by t it will give you minus 1 by t square okay so minus minus it will be cancel out cancel out so here it will be plus e by rt square so this is equal to as this part this part this part is equal to k okay you know that this part is equal to k so we can write k e by rt square so we can say that this part dk dt is directly proportional to e so if you consider a reaction in which the activation energy is greater from as compared to other reaction 
on those reaction in which activation energy is greater the temperature dependence of red constant is greater as you change little bit temperature the change in or increase of red constant will be higher so we can say that thus the temperature dependence will be greater for the reaction with larger value of e now if you have not understood the previous answer of the question then this problem after discussing this problem it will be easier to understand that one reaction will have greater temperature dependence on red constant which have large value of activation energy okay so in this question the red constant of two reactions at temperature t are k1t and k2t and the corresponding activation energies are e1 and e2 which e2 is greater than e1 okay e2 is greater than e1 this is the condition here when temperature is raised from t1 to t2 okay temperature is increasing from t1 to t2 that means t2 is in higher that means higher value than t1 okay next which one of the following relation is correct okay these are some answers and you have to choose one correct answer first of all we have to write the rhenius equation for k1 and k2 so k1 is equal to a e to the power minus e1 by rt and k2 is equal to a e to the power minus e2 by rt okay this is one this is two so as we know that the temper temperature dependence will be greater for reaction which have large value of e okay and in the question given that e2 is greater than e1 that means this part e2 is greater than e1 okay so for those reaction which have large value of activation energy that means this reaction this reaction have large value of activation energy as compared to this one okay so in this reaction the temperature dependence is greater that means a little change in temperature in this reaction will have large change in red constant okay we can say that the ratio between k1 for k1 k1 t2 and k1 t1 that means this is this is for temperature t1 as we are increasing the temperature from t1 to t2 so when temperature was t1 then it is red constant is k1 and when t2 is the temperature then red constant is this much okay this is for t2 and this is for t1 okay so this ratio will be lesser than k2 by k2 t1 so in in k2 e2 is greater so on temperature dependence is greater on this on those reaction which have activation energy is large value have large value so in this reaction as temperature is increased from t1 to t2 the ratio will be greater for k2 so in this question what is the value of red constant predicted by the arrhenius equation if t is infinite is this value physically reasonable so this is the question so for this question we have to know the arrhenius equation we have k is equal to a e to the power minus e by rt so they are saying that temperature is infinite that means temperature if temperature is infinite then this whole part e by e 
e by r t e by r t will be zero so e to the power zero means one okay so it will be k is equal to one so k is equal to sorry k is equal to a okay next if k is equal to a then we can say that e to the power minus e by rt is equal to 1 okay that means minus e by rt is equal to 0 okay so e is equal to 0 which is impossible so as we know that energy cannot be 0 okay so if energy cannot be zero then this condition temperature is infinite so it is physically not reasonable next there is a question the activation energy of a non catalyzed reaction at 37 degrees celsius is 83.68 kilojoule mole inverse and the activation energy of the same reaction catalyst by an enzyme is 25.10 kilojoule mole inverse calculate the ratio of the red constants of the enzyme catalyzed and non catalyzed reaction ratio of red cat constant of enzyme catalyzed and non catalyzed okay we will calculate the ratio as we know that k is equal to a e to the power minus e a by r t okay so k c let's consider k c and k u are red constant for catalyzed and uncatalyzed red constant for catalyzed and uncatalyzed reaction okay next we will take the ratio kc by ku okay so here it is this uh, equation a e to the power minus e a by rt and e to the power a e to the power minus e a by rt a a will be cancel out okay next if we will write this as exponential we can write like this here this rt will be common so we will write here so this as it is divided so we will write in uh, minus okay this one minus this one that means e to the power minus ea by rt minus this minus this part minus e a by r t so we can write like this so r t will be common okay and exponential is written like this so it is given that for uh, catalyzed it was 83.68 minus this one 25.10 25.10 Okay, so it will give you exponential R means 8.314 and in this question you can see that this is in kilojoule okay kilojoule but uh, if R if we write the value of R we generally write R is equal to 8.314 joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse but in this case as it is in k kilojoule so we will write also this r value in kilojoule so if we write joule to kilojoule so it will be there here it will be 10 to the minus 3 kilojoule more kilojoule mole inverse kelvin inverse so temperature is what 37 degrees celsius so it will be in kelvin 310 kelvin and here it is it is 58.58 so the value will be e to the power 22.728 okay so 
it is ln ln k c by k u is equal to 22.728 okay hence final result k c k u is equal to 10 to the power 10 okay so this is the final result in this question what is the decomposition of ethane ethane the red law expression was found to be this one and the red constant the overall red constant is k is equal to this one k1 k3 k4 by k5 whole to the power half okay now there's uh, some data are given if the activation energy as follows that means there's these are the reaction k1 k3 k4 k5 so for k1 it is activation energy is this much for k3 it is activation energy is this much for k4 this is and for k5 activation energy is zero so they are saying that the overall activation calculate the overall activation energy okay so in this question no need to think about this portion okay forget about this just concentrate about this so in this thing uh, this uh, this is the overall red constant and they are asking the overall activation energy so as we know the arrhenius equation k k is equal to a e to the power minus e a by rt so from this k we will we can calculate the activation energy for the overall reaction so if these are the activation energy are given for this activation uh, red constants so if we put these values in the in the uh, equation of this k1 k3 k4 k5 arrhenius equation then we will find out the overall activation energy okay let's solve this question so it is given that k is equal to k1 k3 k4 by k5 whole to the power 1 by 2 okay so from this equation uh, we will put the arrhenius equation a e to the power minus e a by rt okay next next k1 is equal to a1 e to the power minus e1 by rt and a3 e to the power minus e3 by rt and a4 e to the power minus e4 by rt and this is a5 e to the power e5 by rt uh, and there is a half in power so we can write we can write separately write this a a arrhenius factor a4 by a5 hold to our half okay and this e part exponential part minus e1 by rt minus e3 by rt plus e5 by rt as it is here it is minus so we will bring this uh, minus e5 by rt to up so it will be positive okay so we can write a1 a3 a4 a5 whole to the power half and this part is minus 1 by rt we can take it as common and it will be e1 plus e3 minus e5 okay minus we take it as common so this will be plus plus negative okay so next a1 a3 a4 by a5 whole to the power half 
uh, e to the power and here it is there is a uh, half here as we know that half uh, half is here okay so we have to write in power it will be multiplied to power okay so here it will be 2rt and e1 plus e3 minus e5 so finally we can write like this this is the overall this is overall part and this is this is the equation okay so comparing this equation this a overall is equal to this much okay and this overall exponential part and a is equal to this exponential part so there is no use of the this part so we will just calculate the activation energy so this is useful for us so e activation the overall activation overall so it will be half e1 plus e3 plus e4 minus e5 okay next that means here it is e to the power minus e a by rt and here it is also e to the power minus 1 by 2 rt so this part will be cancelled out rt rt will be cancelled out rt rt will be cancelled out okay only here it will be e to the power minus e a so as both side there is exponential we will remove this exponential part just we will consider the, the over the power part okay so here it will be minus e a mi not minus e a minus minus will be cancelled out also so e a overall and this amount and the two will remain here okay so half this part sorry here it is also e4 plus e4 okay so this is next we will put the value of activation energy in given in the question okay so 3351.47 plus 167.37 plus 29.29 minus 0 okay so the final value is 274.065 kilojoule mole inverse okay so in this question the half-life of first order reaction varies with temperature according to these are the four option and you have to choose the correct one okay so first of all we have to know that for first order reaction half-life time is equal to what solution t half means for first order reaction is 0 0.6930 by k so we can write k is equal to 0 0.6930 by t half okay and as we know the arrhenius equation so first of all in this question uh, in this equation there is nothing like temperature dependence or something okay and they are asking half lifetime and temperature that means temperature dependence uh, equation we have to evaluate the equation which is in which temperature relation between temperature and half lifetime or red constant so as we know that know that the temperature dependence comes from arrhenius equation so we have to write the arrhenius equation so k is equal to a e to the power minus, minus e a by r t okay so as we have calculated or evaluated the 
k value this one so we will put this value in k so it is 0 0.6930 by t half is equal to a e to the power minus e a by r t okay so we will uh, invert this equation t half is equal to 0 0.6930 is equal to 1 by a and it will be e to the power minus uh, here it will be minus so it will be plus e a by r t okay next next t half t half is equal to this fellow will come here 0 0.6930 by a e to the power e a by r t okay next next we will take log or ln t half is equal to ln 0 0.6930 by a plus e a by r t okay so in this equation you can say see that this ln ln t half ln t half is directly proportional to e a by r t that means t is in uh, in here you can see that ln t half is is equal uh, directly proportional to 1 by t okay so we will write we will neglect this part there is no need t half is equal is proportional to 1 by t so in this question the activation energy for the decomposition of h2 h2o is 76 kilojoule mole inverse at room temperature and the decomposition is very slow when a little iodide is added so iodide is added as a catalyst is added the activation energy decreases so as you add iodide the activation energy is decreased to 57 so it is catalyst kilojoule mole inverse the red coefficient increases approximately by a factor these are the four option and you have to choose the correct one so in the question it is given that e a uncatalyzed is given 76 kilojoule mole inverse and the e a catalyst catalyzed reaction activation as is given 57 kilojoule mole inverse so in the question it is said that the red coefficient the rate rate coefficient increases approximately by a factor so we will consider this factor suppose it is x so it is increases that means kc by ku it is increased by a factor x okay x time increases x time increases okay so as the equation as we know that ln kc by ku is equal to del e by rt okay so here del e is equal to eu minus ec and this kc by ku this this indicates the increase increase of red coefficient and red coefficient factor this is this indicates that kc by ku ln x is equal to uh, 76 minus 57 by uh, this r r value is 8.314 8.314 
into 10 to the power minus 3 as it is given in kilojoule kilojoule so we will write the value of uh, gas constant r value in kilojoule mole inverse this is kilojoule mole inverse as it is 10 to the so that's why we write 10 to the minus 3 okay and r is in the question is given that at room temperature so that means it will 298 kelvin okay so the value will be uh, 19 by 2.477 and it will give you 7.67 okay so x x will be equal to e to the power 7.67 we remove this ln so x will be equal to e to the power this this much so it will be equal to 2143 okay so 2143 means almost almost 2000 so in this question in the presence of a catalyst the activation energy is lowered by 2 kilocalorie at 27 degree celsius okay that means del e del e a is uh, e u minus e c that means e uh, activation energy for uncatalyzed minus activation energy for catalyzed reaction is equal to 2 kilocalorie okay this is given and they are asking how much will be the rate increased so if first rate constant is k1 next rate constant is k2 so k2 by k1 the increase is let's let's uh, consider this is uh, k is increased k is increased by x time x times okay x time it is increased that constant is increased so next uh, temperature is given in degree so 27 degree celsius is equal to how much 300 kelvin okay next from the arrhenius equation we can write L, ln k2 by k1 is equal to we know that equation and we will directly write instead of k2 by k1 we will write x okay ln x is equal to del e del e a by rt okay rt so the e a is 2 kilo calorie okay next uh, r as it is uh, energy is given in calorie so we will also write the gas constant r in calorie and it is what r is equal to 2 calorie kelvin inverse mole inverse so it will be 2 into temperature is 300 okay so it will give you uh, 3.33 okay next x ln we are writing x so it will be e to the power 3.33 is equal to 28 times that means 28 times rat rat will be increased thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please subscribe my channel and share with your friends.